Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. If you wanna check out more hood tours, visit my Philadelphia Hoods playlist with over 200 plus tours covering all different neighborhoods in Philadelphia, PA. All right, guys, right now we are in South Philly. We are going to be doing the Bella Vista neighborhood. We're passing 6th and South Street. Bella Vista is bordered by Washington Ave to the south, 6th Street to the east, 11th Street to the west, and South Street to the north. We are currently on 6th and Bainbridge Street. Check out that building on my right hand side. See how I got all the paint splats on the first floor, you see it? It's called Lobo Mo. It looks like some type of boutique. Let me put some window washer fluid on the windshield. I'm sorry, guys. We still have the snow debris everywhere and the salt and all that makes the windows look a little ashy. So this neighborhood right here has prime real estate. It's right next to South Street. It's a few minutes away from Columbus Boulevard, right next to the riverfront. It's minutes away from Center City, Philadelphia. It's a nice little neighborhood. You can see we got a new building right here on my left hand side. We're on 6th and Fitzwater. On my right hand side, we got Little Fish, Bring Your Own Beer. It's like a restaurant. They have the outdoor booths where you can have outdoor dining. We're passing Climber Street. Still got some leftover snow. We're supposed to be getting hit with snow once again. Passing Randolph Street and St. Albans Street. And now we're passing Fulton Street. Randolph and St. Albans both ran along the same way. There was two signs that literally went down the same street. We're at 6th and Catherine Street. Beautiful building on my left-hand side. I love the first floor garage with the brick pointing. I don't know if the sun is allowing you guys to see it. We got a taco spot on my right-hand side. The sun's a good thing because the sun will start to melt off some of the snow. We're passing Kaufman Street. Now we're passing Queen Street. We just passed Passy Yunk Avenue. <clears throat> we're at 6th and Christian. We got Shot Tower on my left hand side. Looks like a little dining place where you can eat. Like a little coffee shop too. They had a bunch of different versions of coffee. Little garage on my right hand side. I love the buildings with the first floor garages. Passing Montrose Street. I think that's probably like my most ideal row home. If I had an option to choose, I would have like a three story, I would have a four story if I could, but I would have like a three story row home and I'll have the second and third floor be a living space and I would have the first floor be a garage. I think that is perfect. That's just my personal opinion. We're passing a six in Carpenter and throw a roof deck on top and we're all set. <laughs> all right, we got a house for sale on my right hand side that speaking of the devil, it, it boasts a roof deck. Passing Kimball Street. Yeah, right there it said for sale and then it highlighted roof deck. For rent on my right hand side, passing League Street. We're on Washington Avenue, six in Washington. I'm gonna make this right because this is the border of the Bella Vista neighborhood. got some residential homes on my right hand side three story we got saigon maxim restaurant and plaza on my left hand side we're next to the saigon community which is a primarily vietnamese community we'll touch base on that neighborhood in another tour so make sure you turn on your notification bell so when the saigon neighborhood airs you can check it out we got a cellular 2000 llc on my right hand side it's a cellular business we got several asian businesses on my left hand side Sunshine Jewelry, Tame Vang. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 7th Street. We're on 7th Street, turning off of Washington Avenue. We got a new set of buildings on my right, on League Street. These buildings on my left, look at, speaking of it, they're four story buildings with a first floor garage. That's nice, it's not that bad. I don't really like the facade of the front. They got half, uh, cement work and half brick, but if they would have did the whole thing brick, then that would have been fly. Passing Kimball Street, this house for sale on my right hand side. 
OCF Realty. We're on 7th and Passyunk Avenue. We're on 7th and Carpenter now. Passyunk runs in an angle. We got Napoli Pizza on my right-hand side, and we got the Free Library of Philadelphia on my left-hand side, the Charles Santor Branch. We got a nice mosaic mural on my right-hand side made with mosaic tiles. Passing the 700 block of Montrose Street. We got another building on my right with a first floor garage and a second and third floor what it looks to be living space. I like that. This building on my left on Salter Street, you see they got the second and third floor uh, balcony up top. There's a bicycle up there. At least that person was smart enough to take their bicycle not only inside, but they took it to the second floor. So that's cool. We're on 7th and Christian. I'm going to let this vehicle go by. Go ahead, sir. You're more than welcome to go by. We got Jay Cardulos and Sons on my left-hand side. John's Water Ice Spot. And then we got Cardulos Mechanical Heating and Cooling. That looks like three businesses in one. So that family was wise. They invested in not one business, but three businesses. And they tied them all in the same building. For rent, apartments for rent on my left-hand side. We're on 7th and Catherine. This building on my right hand side has a roof deck straight up top. If you look straight up top, you see that three story building? There's a roof deck up there. We got the saloon parking. Now the thing about South Street is South Street runs right. We're passing Fulton Street. Now if we wanna keep traveling left, South Street isn't gonna allow us to travel left. We'll probably have to take one block down, passing St. Alban Street. We got a saloon right here on my left hand side. Now we're passing Climber Street. We got Fitzwater. We got Fitzwater. We got Bella Organic Cleaners on my right hand side. We got Fitzwater Cafe on my left hand side. We got Saloon Parking and a bakery. Passing Pemberton Street. 700 block of Pemberton. As you can see, these are all residential homes. They're very well kept good condition i like this one on my left hand side let me show you the front to this one right here on my left hand side i'm sorry i got objects falling from, from the roof <laughs> this one you see how i got the center door i got a nice wood center door they got the stone working in the front quite awkward looking stones but it looks decent we're at seventh and bainbridge go ahead sir i'm gonna allow you to walk by pedestrians have the right of way never forget that viewers pedestrians have the right of way we got tear Taranga Yoga on my left, passing 7th and Bainbridge. Passing Cater Street. We got Nomad Pizza on my right hand side. And we are currently passing South Street. So we're going to have to take this one block down. Just as I mentioned right now, we're not in the Bella Vista. That's because once you pass South Street, the neighborhood changes, but I'm gonna have to do this probably for the next couple blocks every time we come to South Street. We're gonna have to come down to Lombard and make a left. This is Lombard, Lombard Street. It's a nice neighborhood also, beautiful neighborhood. Check out the houses. Look at on my left hand side, they got first floor garages. There's one for sale. Somebody buy it for me, mail it to me, please. <laughs> on my right, these three story houses have massive window shutters. That is sharp. That is so sharp. Massive window shutters. I like the window shutter theme, guys. As you can tell from several dozen tours, me saying window shutters, window shutters. I like window shutters. We're gonna make this left at 8th Street. We got Stella's Cleaners on my left and we got Seed Drones Flowers on my right hand side. A right, garage on the first floor. We got Bradford, what's this, like luxury apartments on my left hand side. Looks like somebody could potentially be moving in because they had a moving truck. And now we're back at South Street. So now we're back at the borderline. We got South Street Market on my left-hand side. We got South Cleaners on my right. We got Mandingo Hair Braiding. We got Accent Animals. We got several other businesses. South Street, for those of you guys who don't know and not from Philadelphia, South Street is one of our little uh, shopping streets. It, the shopping district runs for about, I would say, 10 to 12 blocks. I would say from like Front Street to about 
12th Street, like just to about broad, broad is 14th Street. So yeah, on both sides, there's plenty of places where you can go shopping, there's eateries, there's clothing stores, boutiques, jewelry shops, and more. It was more popular in the 90s and in the early 2000s, passing Cater Street. But you know, we got Church of, Cruci of Crucif Crucification <laughs> on my right hand side. Um, yeah, due to online shopping and the malls, people don't utilize South Street as much. At least I don't anymore. We got Corona Desita Hair Designers on my left. Wow, what a name. And we got the One Stop Mini Market on my right hand side. What a name, the Corona Cleaners. <laughs> We got a little park on my left hand side. We're at 8th and Fitzwater. We got Adobe Cafe, Southwest Bar and Grill on my right hand side. Passing the 700 block of Climber Street. That whole group on my left had coffees. <laughs> now we're passing St. Alban Street. There was four people and literally each and every one of them had a coffee in their hand. We got the 47 bus stop next to us and now we're passing both Fulton Street and we got the Butcher's Sew Shop on my right. Now we're passing the 700 block of Catherine Street. Now we're passing the Pilates uh, exercise spot. I'm sorry guys, if right now I'm traveling 15 miles per hour. I'm traveling below the speed limit. I have a vehicle behind me that's been tailing me for the last three or four blocks. Now I do understand, and he's beeping, he's beeping. I'm gonna allow this car to go by. I do understand some of you guys would love me to drive slower, but I can't do eight miles per hour when people want me to do 20. We got a lottery spot on my right. We got doctor cosmetic and implants on my right, passing Salter Street. Now we're passing Montrose Street. Now we're passing the 700 block of Hall Street. Now we're at 8th and Carpenter. We got Wu Tai Tok Tong Herbs on my left hand side. We got the US Vietnam Express on my right hand side. Passing Kimball Street, we got the Municipal Parking Lot of Philadelphia, PPA. We got Panfill Realty on my left, passing League Street. We got California, it was a restaurant on my right. And we got Los Galines Food Market on my left. We're back at Washington Avenue. There used to be a little fish business right there in front of us. On, that, on the left side next to the light, there was a building there. I caught it in a music video literally like a week or two before they knocked it down. That was back in 2017. There was a building right there on that corner. We got Southeast Health Center on my right hand side. Yeah, that seafood spot on my left. I think they sold crabs too. Cause I think I still see a sign standing there. It says Captain Jesse G Inc. Crabs. Yeah guys, I tried to drive as slow as I could, but there's, there's only but so slow I can go find people rushing me like this is five miles per hour and this is how i think some people want me to do these tours but what you have to understand is with one hour on the clock we only do one hour of of tour we would never get through the whole neighborhood in one hour traveling five miles per hour we're at ninth and washington avenue this is the italian market the famous italian market it also starts on my left but for the purpose of this tour for the bella vista neighborhood we're going to stay on you know the right half of washington ave but Rocky also shot a scene here through the Italian market. We got golden donuts on my right-hand side. There was a little a bar on my left-hand side where I shot a little jazz video at before with Mr. Bruce Mays. There you go. This is like a little food strip a variety of produce, vegetables, fruits. Uh, you can get goods like book bags, skellies, mats, hats. Just like little designer jewelry, sneakers, meat market, shopping carts, things of that nature. In the summer and the spring, this looks more full. It looks more lit. But as you can see, there's still people working. This, this female on my right seems to be cutting... Alo, uh, I forgot what it's called. 
Aloe. Yeah, I think it's Aloe. <laughs> um, she's she's cutting some <clears throat> some objects. That's what we're gonna call them for the purpose of this tour. This dude in front of us walking with a bag of poop. That little green bag in his hand is poop from his little <laughs> dog next to him. <laughs> we got Tatu Ta Taludo's authentic Italian food on my left. On my right, we got people working with peppers. I don't know what that is. That's a pepper. That's a green pepper. One of my favorite. Um, but they had a variety of things. Then they also had like half trash cans. Like this one right here that has a fire. You see? There's a fire right there on my right-hand side. This lady right here is counting money. She's counting moolah, baby. Come on, give some of my subscribers some money. <laughs> I think they had to do some change or something. We're passing Hall Street. We got Claudio. Specialty foods on my left. We got four of these on my right. We're passing Montrose Street. We're passing Anthony's Chocolate House on my right. We got Nanny Franco's Pizzeria on my left, passing Salter Street. We got Anthony's Italian Coffee House on my right. We got Lorenzo's Pizzas on my left. George's Sandwich Shop on my left. Now, I received a funny comment about a week ago, a week or two ago. About a week ago. Yeah, but about a week ago, I think, maybe a week or two. Somebody said, um... Why don't you do the Italian? Oh, look at this awesome dog. Roof, 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 roof. I had to tell him to subscribe and dog. But yeah, so somebody said something. They was like, um, why don't you do a tour through the Italian market? I've did this neighborhood several times. So, But he said, why don't you do a tour through the Italian market? That's a neighborhood where you won't even be able to steal. Uh, what do you say? Like a potato? Or you won't be able to steal like a fruit without... You know, like for basically, I think what he was inferring to is this is a highly protected neighborhood, and that can be due to the mob history in the neighborhood and or just in general. I don't know what he was referring to, but I'm sure that's what he meant. Like this neighborhood is a neighborhood where people won't even steal an apple from one of those stands because, you know, you can get hurt for stealing that apple. So, yeah, that's why they're out there in the open. And they leave the stands out there all night. They usually take like the fruits and stuff off, the important stuff, but the stands themselves stay there. We're on 9th and Catherine. We got bar one on my right hand side. We got Ralph's Italian restaurant on my left hand side. We got Sarconi's Bakery. As you can hear from the name of the businesses, there's a lot of Italian restaurants, a lot of Italian joints, pizzerias, etc., etc. We got Angelo's Pizzeria right here. We've done in the past like five pizzerias, and they all got like like that Italian name. You know what I mean? We got Burke and Payne's uh, Barber Company on my left-hand side. I'm gonna allow this vehicle to go. We're on 9th and Fitzwater. We got a chiropractor center on my right-hand side. We got a park on my left-hand side. We got Buckkiss. <laughs> it says Buckkiss Chiropractor. We got four-story buildings on my right, three-story buildings on my right, back to four-story buildings on my right, back to three-story three-window wide buildings on my right, back to three-story two-window wide buildings on my right and so on it goes straight through all original brick pointed buildings that's a nice uh set of of raw homes we're on ninth and bainbridge that building on my right on the corner that's a new building you can tell by the facade on my left we got the expressive hand we got franklin ice cream on my left too a little ice cream parlor we got b square gallery on my left hand side we got Tripoli Barber Supply Company on my left hand side. The pet snobs. It says Jiffy Repair Parts, New and Used and Rare. Ephemera. I got snow falling everywhere despite me removing the majority of it. <laughs> passing Starbucks. Now we're passing South Street. Again, remember, we're just going to be passing South Street, hitting Lumbar for the purpose of the tour. We got Little Italy Pizza on my left hand side. Within the span of this last six or so blocks, I've done named probably 10 pizzerias. So I'm not sure how they're able to stay in business competing with each other. Making a left on Lombard. Look at these houses on my right, they're four story and they also have first floor garages. We got a cool little dog walker right here. The dog looks like a fox. Passing Hutchison, the 400 block of South Hutchison Street. We got Lombard, one to two bedroom apartments on my right hand side. Beautiful shutters on my right hand side. Nice buildings on my left. We're at 10th and Lombard. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on 10th Street. We got a park or a playground on my right hand side. We're now approaching the 900 block of Rodman Street. 
We got an Acme to my right hand side. Now we're back at South Street. We're back at the borderline, Bella Vista. We got a PNC bank on my right. We got a snap kitchen on my left. You can see there's still some people you know, out and about, some foot activity. People shopping, that female had several bags, walking with her bags, probably just went food shopping. This gentleman right here, go ahead buddy, you wanna go? It's our green, but, I, but I'll let him go, because you know, he was doing some shopping, so it's cool. Sometimes you have to be courteous. Look at this house on my right. They got all these mos these these mosaic uh, tiles on the front of the house. See how it reflects in the sun? Wow, that is. I don't know if I should, if, if I can call that beautiful or tacky. I mean, it's kind of like a cross between both. It's beautiful because it, you know, as an artist, I can appreciate art. You know, we're at 10th and Bainbridge. That wasn't easy to do, and they did the whole front of their house, a three-story building kind of tacky because it kind of looks different than all the other buildings in the neighborhood and takes away from that brick point look look at this one on my right tall window shutters dang yo the three-story houses look good with window shutters they look good like the two stories look good but the two-story window shutters are teeny tiny window shutters these three-story window shutters are enormous 10th and Fitzwater on my left hand side we got Sam's morning Glory, a fine diner on my right. We got United Savings Bank, established in 1912. Um, passing three-story homes, two-story homes. We got some tall three-story ones on my right. We got some average, ouch, three-story ones on my left. There's two different sides of three-story homes. The ones on my right were huge. The ones on my left were average. We got Santa Luigi's and Corona de Ferro restaurant on my right. We got WSF Bank on my left. We just passed another business that used the term Corona. 10th and Catherine. We got an apartment for rent on my right hand side. Unfortunately, they're doing some street work right in front of us to my dismay. Ah, I don't, I don't understand it. Every time I do one of these tours, it's always like some type of thing like this blocking me in the tour. That's a nice little yellow Honda Fit. We got Santucci's Pizza right here on my left. Isn't there one on Broad Street? I could have swore there's a Santucci's Pizza on Broad Street. Because every time I see it, yeah, there's an overabundance of pizzerias in this neighborhood. Yo, look at this lady's walking by with what, like a little box of pizza? Ah, she's moving it. She's gangster. Look at her. She she moved the cones. It's probably because she lives on that block. I should go with her, right? Come on, come on. We out, we out. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. I think I'm going to go right. Because if I go left, then I'm going to go through a spot where I already re repeated. We got family owned since. It's East Grow. Italian pastries on my right. Can I make this left here? Wow. This is a little tiny block, but let's go for it. Is it a no outlet? Well, we'll find out now. Three story homes on my right. Two of them have decks up top, balconies, like uh, roof decks. All right. We're on Salter Street. Salter or Salter however you want to say it. Now, this is an over-exaggeratedly small block. Now, some people say, man, Philly blocks are tiny. I'll let you know when a Philly block is tiny. Most of them are manageable. Uh-oh, I think right in front of us, we're at a dead end because there's tons of snow. It says no through traffic. All right, well, we're here. We might as well show you what it looks like and then just reverse the whole block. There's no sense in coming through here in vain, so. Look at, there's some nice looking houses right here in front of us on my right hand side. Beautiful red brick. It look like they're still making them. Yeah, this is no through traffic. Look at, yeah. They should have had something sooner that read no outlet. So people like ourselves don't come through here and then find out that it's a no outlet area. But it's cool. Anyway, so like I was saying about the little blocks, like I'll let you know when, when, when a block is, is little. I've been through my fair share of Philly blocks. This block is somewhat little. It's not the most ideal block to travel through, but it's not impossible to travel through either. Where there's a will, there's a way. On a side note, I was gonna say on a side note, we might be able to go through that block, but they're doing some street work. So I was gonna take it straight down, but there's no sense in going straight down. Cause even if we go straight down, we're gonna run to that block where that lady pulled the cones off, remember? You remember, remember? Yeah, so I'm gonna make this right hand turn here and then boom, 
we're just gonna go right back. Yeah, this is a two-way street, as you can see, because they got a stop sign facing this way. All of this because of one silly, simple little de detour. That's what happens. That's what happens with these detours. De these detours throw us off big time. Somebody wants to come down here. I'm sorry, dude, but I gotta make a left. So he must live on this block, but we got this Hyundai Tuscan right there uh, blocking traffic because the female wants to get into the vehicle. Get into the vehicle, man. Yeah, you're kind of holding up three intersections here. Our intersection, the intersection on my left, and the intersection on my right. Because the guy on my left is trying to come to where we're at. The people behind him are being stuck, and then the people on my right were stuck. So, yeah, it was a whole commotion going on. Passing Warnock Street. Anyway, we're at 11th Street, which is the border. So, we missed like a block or two before. Look at the house on my right. They got a first floor garage and all that cool stuff. So, 11th Street, we're on 11th and Christian. This is a two-way street. I can just quickly take a left and then probably bust like a like a U-turn going up there after Washington just so y'all can see this so we don't miss this. Passing Mont Road Street. Yeah, it's only about a block or two before we hit Washington and then we got to make a U-turn to come back around anyway because this is the Bella Vista area. Once we pass Washington, that's a whole different neighborhood. Passing 11th and Carpenter. We got Petro's Bread and Pastries on my left-hand side. We got a uh, nail and hair salon on my left hand side, grand opening. We got Le Vet Vietnamese restaurant and bar on my left. We got a CVS pharmacy. I'm gonna slow down here. Yeah, I got little icicles and stuff falling from my roof rack. All right, we're on Washington Ave. We got, on my right hand side, we got a whole plaza. Um, and that whole plaza has tons and tons of Asian restaurants. I'm assuming Vietnamese because the Saigon neighborhood is a Vietnamese neighborhood, which is why on that side of Washington, we saw, you know, a few dozen Vietnamese businesses and or Asian businesses. They're right there. That's a Chinese cuisine and KTV spot. W. Kang, I believe. Oh, that lady almost fell. She either jumped. But whatever she did, it was entertaining. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make this left right here at 7-Eleven. I'm just going to come around. This is going to be how we're going to make the U-turn. You got a 7-Eleven right here, right? And we got a Honda Accord on my right-hand side. I'm going to go right here behind this vehicle. And then I'm going to go right back down 11th Street. <clears throat> so this is basically the block that we missed. Yeah, this is the block that we had missed because of that detour, but at least y'all saw some of it. Now I'm gonna make this right back on 11th Street. This is the border, 11th and Washington. It sounds like I got stones and pebbles on top of the roof, and that's just excess snow, frozen ice. I've done cleaned this vehicle off several times this week, including gave it a car wash, and boom, it snows the next day. Thank you, Mother Nature. We're passing Kimball Street. We're passing 11th and Carpenter Street. 11th and Carpenter. Now we're passing Montrose Street. We got South Philadelphia State Bank on my right hand side. It looks like a private bank. Now we're passing 11th and Christian. On my left hand side, we got William Frank Sawyer uh, 11th Street Auto Repair, Sawyer. On my right hand side, we got that bread distribution spot, Petro's. We got Academy at Palumbo on my left. Looks like a school. Right, 11th and Catherine. That building on my left hand side looks like it was once like an actual warehouse where they did work at and it probably closed down in the last 20 to 30 years. But within the last 20 years, they probably rehabilitated it and turned it into some type of loft and or office space. The reason why I say that is because it's freshly brick pointed and also because the windows looked like the trims around it looked like they just did it. On my right, we got Bella Vista Beer Distributor. On my left, we got Moonstone Create, Learn and Grow. We got Fearless Athletics on my left. We got, look at, look at these little um, tent bubble things with people sitting in them. Yo! They keep getting more and more creative with this outdoor dining stuff. And the thing that cracks me up is people still go and outdoor dine. Why they got a little kid over there too? A little little baby, like not baby, but he was like two, three years old. 
passing 11 from Fitchwater. The thing that cracks me up is there's still people going out to eat despite it being this cold and despite them not being able to sit in the restaurant, they don't care. They'll sit outside in the tent. <laughs> All right, garages on the first floor, I'm all right. Three-story buildings, passing 11 from Bainbridge. We got a house for sale on my left. You hear that, Lincoln? The house for sale on my left, dog. Um, passing Cater Street. Now we're back on South Street. Now, this is the one time we don't gotta go past South Street to hit Locust to come around, because now, remember, if we go left, we're no, we're no longer in the Bella Vista. So now we're gonna do west to east, you know, or, or east to west. We're gonna travel uh, left to right. We originally traveled uh, south, north, like up and down, passing Clifton Street. Now we're gonna just go left to right. They're doing some rehabilitating to that building. Seen they had a couple guys doing some work past the whole mosaic building. They must live around the corner of that mosaic house. Passing Alder Street. We're gonna drive down South Street until we get to Sixth Street. Looking on my left and looking on my right. Despite it being cold, there's still young fellows and mams out here getting their little uh, shopping on. Passing Del High Street. Look at this Whole Foods on my left. There's a line of people outside waiting to, I'm assuming, get inside. They probably got like a store limit. It's a police station right here on my left-hand side. You can see a few police cars passing Percy Street, South and Percy Street. It's a mini station. We got Starbucks on my right, Wawa on my left. Passing 9th Street, we got new image art and framing on my right. We got Elite Culture Boutique on my right. We got self-service coin-operated laundromat on my right, passing Darien Street. We got Lil Drummer Boy Recording Studio, Audio Engineer and Music Production School on my right. Professional Massage and Body Work and more on my right. <laughs> passing 8th Street. We got a vegan tree, vegan cuisine on my right. We got the sweet life shop on my right. The learning garden, fine wines and goods, good spirits on my right. We got some outdoor eating booths. Some of them were already spray painted on. As you can see, they already tagged them up. That tells me when they build those heavy duty outdoor things that take up the parking slot, that they're planning on doing, doing outdoor dining for a long time. That's what it tells me. Because technically, PPA will give you a ticket if you block those parking spots. But those those businesses, they're getting, I guess, permission to block the parking spot, which is crazy. Like, if you think about it, if you wrap your mind around that, they're, they're blocking, you know, a dozen parking spots just so people can eat in the parking spot. Passing 7th Street, we got Society Hill alone on my left. Dudes Boutique on my right. I guess it's a boutique for dudes. Um... Atomic City Comics, that's cool, a comic store. Sandwich shop, body graphic tattoos, Olympia 2 pizza restaurant, and more. Right here, we're at the border at 6th Street. So I'm gonna make this right at 6th Street. We got Federal Donuts next to us. I believe there's one around Brown Street, like 7th from Brown, a Federal Donuts. I've never eaten from there, but I do recall the name. I read the name. All right. We got Mediterranean Cuisine on my right, established in 2015. Bainbridge Barrel House on my left. We're at Bainbridge. This is that building that we saw on my right at the beginning. You see with the spots, Lobo Moo. It's a fashion boutique. It got like paint splats all over the building. These buildings on my left got fur floor garages. That is neat. That is neat. But I would at least need it to fit at least two cars, two and a half preferably. I guess you can have a choice when you design the building. You might be able to like do like a one car garage and have maybe like a back room on the first floor. Like, you know, maybe like a little chill spot, like a game room or something. We're gonna make this right on Fitzwater because we're no longer going up and down now. Now we're gonna travel left to right. Go ahead, bicyclist. Go ahead, Mr. Cyclist. Go ahead, Mr. Pedestrian Crosser dude. No problem, sir. Looking kind of spiffy there with, with that leather coat. I'm hoping it's pleather. All right, we got Little Fish, bring your own beer on my left-hand side. <clears throat> Again, little residential area. Passing the 700 block of Marshall Street. Check out this house on my right-hand side. Man, do they have an overabundance of garages. They got three beautiful, large doors. They got two garage doors that are huge. They have to be 14 feet wide, over 12 feet. 
And then they got a double door, which allows you to enter into the building on the 700 block of Marshall Street. Look it, it's a two-story building. That's a nice, it got like that red oak, that red oak wood. Oh, that is fly. Considering that I like garages, that's why I said that's kind of fly. For me, a garage is a personal space to work at, you know, like a man cave, a place to just vent and build stuff. I'm passing Sheridan Street. Look on my left, all these garages. Yeah, it, it needs to be a nice sizable garage because a little tiny one, like a storage unit, wouldn't be that useful for me because if I can only put a car in there. We're on 7th and Fitzwater. PPA Municipal Parking Lot on my left. We got Fitzwater Cafe on my right. Check out that mural on my left. I see a lot of mobsters jazz musicians and what could be potentially mobsters because <laughs> they had the little italian mustachio the mustachio but yeah so for rent on my right beautiful houses on my left so if 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 i get a garage ideally it needs to have enough space for me to store vehicles but also movability so i can move around build stuff you know like you know not be all cramped up you know what i mean because some of these garages they got garages but they look tiny we got medical offices on my right, Dr. Peter Gross Family Medicine. We're on 8th and Fitzwater. On my left, we got that Adobe Cafe. We got some outdoor eating spots on my left, which looks very rinky-dinky and tiny compared to all the other ones that we've seen. <laughs> Passing Wildred Street, a cool little dog on my right. Roof, roof. Subscribe, doggy. Passing Darien Street. Now we're passing Shell Street, Shell. Skell, it could be Skell because it's S C H E L L. Burke and Payne, this is the barbershop on my left on 9th and Fitzwater. Would you want to go to a barbershop that has named Payne? <laughs> it's crazy, right? Payne passing Percy. Now we're passing Hutchinson, beautiful building on my left, playground on my right. That's the Frank Palumbo Recreation Center. We got Delhi on my left, passing Delhi Street, Sam's Morning Gl Glory, and Fine Diner on my left. We have these two young women crossing the street. United Savings Bank on my left, we're at 11 for Fitzwater. I'm gonna turn on a little bit of the heat, so. The windows don't fog up. Passing Warnock Street. We're passing Clifton Street. Now I'm gonna make this left at the borderline at 11th Street. And this is that little spot with the tents. Remember? You remember, remember? Look it. It looked like they Bubble Boys. Remember the movie Bubble Boy? Yo, that's crazy. They must have got the idea from Bubble Boy. See, the outdoor dining is good for the business, but it's kind of unsafe for the people. Because imagine somebody made that turn on the corner and was drunk. Or somebody, like, they just did a high-speed chase yesterday in Philly, and somebody uh, carjacked a, a female, I believe. And from what I heard on the news uh, segment, that they put her and her two children at risk. So I think she probably had two kids with her. They stole her car. It was a Scion, a Toyota Scion. They went on a high-speed chase. We don't get those often here. Like, I know in L.A., like, y'all probably get them a lot. I'll be seeing them, like, on the YouTube highlights. Y'all get a lot of car chases. We don't we don't get those cop chases here often. We have had a, a, a couple. I've witnessed two in real life. And, you know, we do get a couple car chases, but not in an overabundance. I'm going to make this left right here on Christian. Oh, you can't make a left. Okay, wait, can you? Yes, you can. Yeah, it's a two-way street. Yeah, so anyway, but they just did one uh, yesterday. And luckily, they were able to apprehend the suspect. And they arrested him. And they got the female's car back. However, passing Warnock Street, we got Morgan Chiropractic and Healthcare on my left. We got East Grow Italian Pastries on my left. This is a little block, Alder Street on my right. I think where we had the little detour. So anyway, the bad thing is, if there's something like that that happens, like a, like a car chase, and they hit that corner, you know, and don't care because it's a stolen car and they're running from the cops, they can wipe out several lives just, you know what I mean, from the outdoor dining experience. So, yeah, I'm kind of iffy on that. Like, I wouldn't personally eat out there, but, hey, to each his own. Passing Delhi Street. We got St. Paul Parish. Two beautiful churches on my left-hand side. That's li It literally was called Two Beautiful Churches. <laughs> Michael Anastasio on my left-hand side. Superior Pasta, Ravioli, and more. That sounds like my type of place. Because I like pasta. I like pasta. Give me some pasta.
Yeah, give me some gluten-free pasta and I'm on. I love making pasta. All, all types of spaghetti, pasta shells, macaronis, listen, give me all that stuff. Lorenzo's Pizza on my right. Cheesesteak, chicken cheesesteak, pizza steak, buffalo chicken cheesesteak, sausages and peppers, Italian hoagies, slices, burgers, wings, fries, wraps, and more. There's another Lorenzo's Pizza on South Street that has some gigantic slices of pizza. Passing Anthony's on my right hand side. And on my left, we got Triple Play Sports. We got Pit Stop HQ on my right. Doggy Daycare and Grooming. Cafe Bing. Vietnamese Spot. Passing Darien Street. Uh, Fiora's Sausage Spot on my left. Passing Mildred Street. Passing the PNC Bank. Passing My Lynn Beauty Salon. Lucky Seven Grocery Store. Yeah, on South Street, we got 8th and <clears throat> 8th Street Pharmacy on my left. We're at 8th and Christian. On South Street, I'm telling you. There's a spot called Lorenzo's. We just passed Lorenzo's, so I don't know if they might. I won't be surprised if they own both of them because there's only a few blocks away. Um, but there's a spot in Philly called Four Sons Pizzeria that was really known for... I, I loved it growing up. I haven't eaten it in a while, but I loved it because it had the thinnest, cheesiest, biggest slices of pizzas. Beautiful, large slices. We got Jay Cardulo and Sons on my left. 7th and Christian. We're going to make this right coming up at 6th Street. We got Lily Real Estate Development on my right. Yeah, so Four Sons, to my knowledge, at the time had the biggest slices of pizza and they were thin. But when I was a kid and I got put on to, um, to Lorenzo's on South Street, those things are giant. Like they're like two, three regular slices of pizza and the one. But they are like, I think, three, four dollar pizzas. Like almost, no, probably more, like 4 dollars for like a slice of pizza. But the pizza is huge. Like, I mean, it's gigantic. It's a gigantic triangular slice of pizza. We're at Six and Christian. And then it tasted good. Like it was cheesy, it, it was saucy. Uh, shot Tower on my left. Yeah, cheesy, it had the marinara going on. It had like the little, I wouldn't call it, maybe cilantro, or, or some type of green little flakes, like parsley. But it tasted banging. So, I'm passing Montrose to see that there's a Lorenzo's right there, you know, and they don't only have pizza, they have all the other things that I named cheesesteaks and all that stuff. It's cool for you guys to probably experience one day. Right, I'm gonna make this right on Carpenter Street and turn right on Carpenter, six and Carpenter. We got George W. Nebinger Public School on my right, Nebinger. Residential homes on my left. Look at that deck up top on my right hand side. You see that deck? See on the right hand side of the screen? Look up. It comes from the second floor to the third floor and it goes right on top of the roof. That's good for the summer. And I'm glad that they got like some shade up there because I see a lot of roof decks, but nobody's smart enough to like install like a shade can canopy type of thing. You know what I mean? Those people say, look, we're not getting burnt by the sun. We got for sale on my left hand side. Sweet memories, chocolates on my right hand side supplies gifts and favors that's the free library on my right hand side we got napoli's pizzeria like i said this neighborhood has an overabundance of pizzerias that you have many options like if you're a pizza fanatic and you're a pizza head <laughs> passing uh beulah street if you're a pizza fanatic you know we got two houses on my left with, with garages on the first floor two new buildings on my right brand new still getting the wiring done Look at on my right, look at this building on my right. Garage on the first floor. Man, somebody mail me that house. <laughs> USPS it to me. I want an overnight priority. We're at 8th and Carpenter. But yeah, you can go from pizzeria to pizzeria and you could probably try a different pizzeria every day of the week in this neighborhood and still have a whole nother week or two worth of, of spots where you can try pizza at. <laughs> you got a little uh, a business warehouse right here on my right. Now we're back at the Italian market. <clears throat> we're on 9th and I believe this is Carpenter. Got a gentleman in the middle of the street eating what looks to be, is it a pizza, is it a pizza, is it a pizza, is it a pizza? Is it a pizza? I'm gonna let this vehicle go in front of me because I ain't, I ain't got no vehicles behind me, so might as well. I'm trying to see what you was eating, dog. Yeah, it's a pizza, it's a pizza. They were both eating pizzas. 
Yo, speaking of pizza, I guess there's an overabundance of pizzas in the neighborhood. So, hey, for, for lunch, what do you think we're having tomorrow, Bob? I don't know, Bill. What do you think? Pizza? Yeah, pizza's fine. <laughs> Yo, pizza everywhere. When the moon heats the sky, that's a big pizza pie. That's a more. No, it's when the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie. That's a more. My pop used to sing that when I was a little kid. I was like eight, nine years old, and I used to be in the car, and he used to say that. You know how pops do stuff like that? That's cool. Tenth and Carpenter. Look at me. I'm <clears throat> I'm 32. About to be 33 in two months, three months. And boom. I still remember the song. Look at this little Jeep on, on my right. Got the roof rack going on. Bright orange. The paint job is kind of shoddy. Kind of ugly. I mean, I'm not saying the color's ugly. I love the orange. It just doesn't look like... It looks like it was taken to like makeup. Or like something like it. Like it it's not the best quality paintwork. This little two-story house is on my right. Passing Clifton Street. <sighs> We're on 11th and Carpenter. 11th and Carpenter. We got dog walkers in the hood. In the summer and the spring, this neighborhood is pretty clean. This neighborhood has a good history of local residents sweeping up after, you know, any pollution, any trash. But then again, you don't see groups of kids hanging out here, like teen, you know, kids looking for trouble. You don't see, like, you know, if, if they pass through, they pass through, like, you know, riding by, whatever, walking by. But you don't really, like, see them hanging out. Like, when you go down north or you go down certain spots on west, like, you see, like, groups just hanging out on the corner. You don't see that over here. Uh, in front of us is Washington Ave. You know what I'm going to do? Because you already seen Washington Ave. That's where the 7-Eleven was at. I'm going to make this left right here. I'm going to make this left so y'all can see this little tiny block on Kimball Street. Because we're still doing left to right. This is perfect. We had somebody walking right in the middle of the street right here on my left hand side. He's like six foot two. Check it out. On my right hand side, this building is a nail salon. In case you guys were wondering. On my left hand side, these are two story homes, little tiny homes like we got in North, um, but you know, pretty clean, nice brick pointing, nice marble stone uh, steps. These are freshly brick pointed. The steps have been redone on these two on my left. Then they get, then they turn to three story. These are three stories, different size, three stories, different size by a couple feet. Some of them like the crowns are a couple feet taller than others. Look, they got this bike hanging right out front here. A, a three-wheeler bike. Wow, those things, you don't see them anymore. And they're worth good money. That's a Schwinn, too. That's an easy 150 to 300 bucks hanging right there on that, on the front of the house. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying easy is because if somebody, you know, was fiending for 300 bucks or 200 bucks, and you can sell that for a quick 100 bucks, and people will buy it without a problem, they can just cut it from the front of the house, throw it in the pickup truck, and bounce. We had a little park on my left-hand side. We got Christ Presbyterian Church, South Philadelphia Lighthouse on my right-hand side. Sunday services, English at 1030. Vietnamese at 4 p.m. You hear that? So if you want to attend a Vietnamese church ceremony, this would be the spot. Right, let me see if I can get this turn on smash without destroying anyone's vehicle. All right, cool. We got it. All right, we got Washington Ave right in front of us, but I'm going to keep following Kimball Street. Let's follow Kimball Street. This is Kimball. We're on the 900 block of West Kimball. All right, this is a three-story of the first few houses on each side, a three-story. The first four on my left are, uh, are three-story. The six or seven on my right are three-story. But then you go up a little bit more, and there's a few on my left that are two-story. But the block looks pretty nice as far as the facade goes. Sales, leasing, property management. See two houses for sale on my left two-story you'll be right in the heart of the italian market in case you know that means something to anyone look on my right hand side that building's i'm gonna reverse a little bit that building with the first floor garage look at the first second and third floor you see how the the balconies are like arched like a half circle and there's gates and they got like the brick stone look at the first floor look right next to the door in the garage you see how they got a little lantern outside I doubt that's real fire. That's like an electronic device that makes it look like it's fire. But you can see that that little lantern got like a fake fire di display on. 
On my left, we got a new reha newly rehabilitated house. You know why I know? Because A, the facade doesn't match. B, there's a bunch of uh, notice of residential building permits on the window. And then there's still stickers like on the door and the stickers on the window. That hasn't been peeled off yet. We got a lot of this little building on my left with stucco. Look, at, I'm gonna reverse once again. This little building on my left got two little teeny windows, and then it got a double door, and that's it. It's a two-story building with stucco. On my right, that building that's for sale, the orange one. Look at the second floor. It got like uh, wooden shingles. You see, it got like wooden shingles. It's a three-story building with wooden shingles on the second and third floor, but the first floor got stucco, orange stucco, and it's for sale. We got a gentleman in front of us in the middle of the street with his little doggy yo. Little tiny dog. Little doggy yo. Now we're back at Kimball uh, and Italian Market. We got a little, what's this? Uh, Honda Ruckus on my right hand side. I'm gonna allow this, this sir to, oh, I thought he was gonna cross the street. Got a bunch of guys out here having a little smoke breaks. Got some females probably doing some shopping. We're back at the Italian market. You guys get another glimpse at what it looks like out here. These people all trying to make an honest living, hustling. Some of them look of Mexican descent. Some of them look of Asian descent. Some of them look of Italian descent. Yeah, you got a wide variety of ethnicities in this neighborhood. Got a cool dog on my left hand side. Cool looking little little dog. Got an African American brother right there with the hood on. So it's it's a it's a wide diverse market. We got uh, two Caucasian females here. These are the ones that were counting the money earlier. Yeah, we got Montrose Street. I should have made a left on Montrose. Uh, it continues here. All right, I'll make this this left here so y'all can see this little spot. With D Bruno's Bros on my right hand side. Ninth Street Bottle Shop. There's an outdoor eatery. We got a beautiful mural on my right hand side. Three story homes on my left hand side. Trees on my right hand side. Looks like one side of parking. We got the parking poles on the right side so you can't park on the sidewalk even if you wanted to. Unless you got a smart car and can probably squeeze up somewhere in there. Garage on the first. There's a lot of garages in South Philly and in like Center City area, but I guess that's because parking is very limited. We got Del High Street. Can I make a right down Del High? Let's see. If I can make this right, I'm just gonna take it. Just so I can show y'all something different. Beautiful house on my left. A little Honda scooter on my left. What's that, an Elite? Yeah, a little Honda 50, a oh, Metropolitan, I'm sorry. Yo, Metropolitan, a 50cc Metropolitan. That's williable. Absolutely is. It's a two-stroker. All right, we're traveling down Del High Street. We're on the 900 block, about to cross over to the 800 block of Del High. I'm gonna cross over here. That's that church, St. Paul Parish, on my right hand side. I gotta be careful here because I got traffic traveling both ways. You see, there's a vehicle flying right by. I'm gonna be very cautious. The light's turning yellow, so I think maybe I should be okay. Squeeze in on my left. Make sure nobody's coming. I look on my right. Nobody's coming. Perfect. We got the dentista on my left. That's what it's called. The, de de the dentista. Instead of the dentist, it's called the dentista. We got a couple road bikes on my right hand side. Road bikes for the win. I like road bikes. They cool looking, fast bikes. I've had my fair share of road bikes. That was a little side hustle, you know, buying them used and reselling them. They sell for pretty good money. Like really good, good money. There's been several occasions where I bought $20 road bikes, $30 road bikes, $40 road bikes, and sold them for two, three hundred each. Depends on the model, the year, the error, um, and whatnot, and the condition. And I would get them from like the outskirts of Philly or like different 
suburbs where people had them in their garages where they no longer, you know, like the older folks, oh, I have this old road bike that I'm no longer riding, selling it. 20 bucks, 25. I've even bought them as low as 15 and 10 dollars. Yeah. Or even on eBay, I would go on eBay and I would click road bike, right? And then I would filter it through nearest first. So I would find the ones in the outskirts or even in Jersey, South Jersey and Delaware. And if it looked like a good investment, if it looked like a bike that I can easily, you know, make a 250 piece, a 300, you know, 400 piece from a bike, then I'm going to take the ride to pick it up because it's an investment. Those were like little side hustles that I had throughout the years. Seasonal, you know, too, because you can sell bikes in the winter, but it's a little slower because, you know, not many people are going to be investing in the bike when there's all this snow in the ground. But don't get it twisted. In Philly, people ride bikes all year round. And they even buy ride bikes in the rain and in the snow, so it doesn't even matter. But you'll have a better chance of selling bikes quicker in the spring and in the summer. And even in fall. I'll be honest with y'all. I've sold bikes like the same day. Like there's been days where I've bought a bike and several hours later, I, I sold the bike. They sell fast. Yeah, they sell really, really fast. There's a couple products that sell that fast. Like bicycles, I gotta turn right a little bit so I can make this left because this is gonna be a crazy turn. Hold on, better be careful. I'm gonna make sure there's no traffic coming. As long as there's no traffic coming, then I'm all right. Cool, better be careful. Cool. Yeah, there's a couple of items that sell super duper fast. Um, bicycles is one of them. Cell phones, electronics sell super fast, depending on the cell phone. Um, laptops sell super fast, like, you know, MacBooks and anything Apple related. Um, you know what else sells super fast? Roof racks. Car roof racks, I've sold probably a dozen roof racks. There's been where I bought one roof rack and three hours later, I posted it back up for triple the price that I bought it for and boom, sold it. Let's make this right down the 700 block of Alder Street. Yeah, there's been on several occasions where, like, example, I buy a roof rack set up, which I like. I know the value of it, so they sell you know five, six, seven hundred. But I get it from somebody who doesn't care about it. I get it for fifty bucks. I part it out. I sell one part for two fifty. I sell the other part for one fifty, and I still end up having a part left over. And my initial investment was like fifty bucks or seventy five bucks. It depends on how you negotiate with the seller. The hood people are usually pretty firm on prices because they be trying to get every single penny from the item. But if you go to, like I said, the outskirts of the suburbs, they're usually really lenient when it comes to pricing. They, they It's like you're doing them a favor because they just want it out of their garage or they just want it out of their storage space. So they, they don't care. They're more than welcome. They're more than happy to bargain. You know what I mean? You can throw them an offer and they go, sure, sure. Take it, buddy. Take it. And I'm like, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. I'm going to go sell this for 500 bucks now. <laughs> Good looking, sir. All right, we're passing Alder Street. But that's the entrepreneurial spirit, you know? It's called supply and demand. What's one man's um, trash is another man's treasure. That was a cool little dog. It looked like a little, like a little brindle hyena. Yeah, so. Yeah, shutters on my left. That's nice. Camera system, too. I see that. We on candy cam. A back garage on my right. Look at that. This is the house with the mosaics, probably. Because look at Because the back alley got mosaics. Look at You see it? Got all the glass um, mosaic. You see on my left, too? Look at Whoa, on Cater Street. I remember passing this when I was a kid. When we used to come to South Street, we passed the mosaic building all the time. When I was 11, 12, 13. But I never knew there were so many of them back here in the back alley unless they added all over time. You know what I mean? But look at Look at my right. Look at all these little mosaic buildings. Wow, they that's an art form. You take different pieces of glass, different colors, colored like uh, ceramic tiles and glass to it. That's why you can see like mirrors and all of that. And then you with cement adhesive or yeah, pretty much cement adhesive. You glue them to the wall and you make artwork. And at the end, you got a beautiful, you know, what could look like a painting, but it's really, you know, glass tiles. We're back on South Street, y'all. We're on 10th and South. I'm going to make this right on 10th Street. We got a lot of foot traffic. Yeah, that mosaic house on my right. See it? I told you that one of those things went to that mosaic house. Yo, that's priceless. <laughs> that's funny, yo. That yo pulled up to my house. My house is the one with all the glass tiles on it. It looks like a rainbow. 
All right, we're at 10th and Bainbridge. I'm gonna make this left on Bainbridge Street. That playground right there in front of us with the basketball court, there's a gentleman walking his furry dog that looks like a furry piece of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Some of the dogs be looking very, very um, furry, very fluffy. And then when they have the curls, they look like fried pieces of chicken. I'm gonna make this left here just so y'all can see this block. And we have just hit our hour mark. So I'm going to make this left so at least you guys can see this block right next to South Street. Yeah, guys, with that being said, we have literally just hit our hour mark. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your attention. This will conclude our small tour of the Bella Vista neighborhood. We didn't get through all the blocks and the cracks and crevices, but in the future, you know, we'll end up touching base again come spring, fall, summer, and whatnot. With that being said, please donate a thumbs up and or donate a comment in the comment section. Every comment helps this channel. With your help, we'll be able to tour, you know, bigger and better places in the future. Lastly, if you wanna go the extra mile, Please share this video with a friend or family member, or you can share the link on a social platform on any one of your social networks. Copy and paste the link. That'll be awesome. This is your homeboy, Tune, and I'm tuning out.